I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. Well, it's been well over 125 years, and to no surprise, the 3030 still is the supreme deer hunting cartridge in America. And also, it's the most popular deer hunting cartridge in America, especially if you live in a state that allows bottleneck cartridges. Now, we've already done two videos on the 3030. The first video, we shot at 50 yards and we zeroed the rifle in. And then the second video, we moved down to the 200 yard range right away just to see how we would do. Well, we found out it shoots very flat and we were shooting the Hordendy 160 grain. Now, we were shooting within an eight inch diameter um, at 200 yards, which isn't bad. And I shot, I think three or four within that eight inches. And um, so today I wanted to do, I wanted to come back and do the 100 yard range. And we're going to zero the rifle in and leave it there at 100 yards. Now, where you really wanna shoot a deer is 150 yards or less. That'd be perfect. But you could actually go out to 200 yards, but you're going to have somewhat of a bullet drop. And you'll have to know exactly where your rifle is shooting. Now, what I would recommend, if you, if you go to the gun shop and you can only find Remington, I would recommend the 150 grain for deer, okay? Um, you don't need the 170 grain. I, unfortunately, I don't have any 150 grain with me, um, but it's gonna shoot much flatter than the 170 grain. Now, I have used the 170 grain that I have here today uh, for moose, and my dad and I both got a lot of moose with 170 grain Remington. And this was way before Hordendy came out with their new uh, lever revolution, which are safe to load in the lever gun because of their flex tip they put on here. It's a polymer tip. Okay, so, but what Hordendy has done has, with this flex tip, they were able to raise the BC up on these amazingly to where these really shoot flat and they shoot real fast. Okay, so, so these are much better than the, the Remington 170 grain for sure, out to 200 yards. But, you know, under 150 or less uh, yards, uh, the Remington 170 does fine. Like I said, we got a lot of moose with the 170 grain, but you don't need the 170 for, for deer. Um, so if you, you can't, if you can't find the Hordendy 160 grain, at your gun store, go down to the 150 grain with, with Remington, and that, that'd be your best choice. We've gotten deer with 150 grain uh, Remington too, so, and that, again, that was way before um, Hordendy came out with the 160 grain. But this is, this, this cartridge is perfect. And since Hordendy has invented this, um, cartridge here, this flex tip and everything, they put themselves way ahead of other cartridges for deer hunting for sure. Okay, even moose, any, any North American game. In fact, the 3030 can take out any North American game. Okay, so, and it doesn't matter which grain, I, I would use moose, I would use the 160 um, for moose too. That, that'd be fine, that, that'd be fine. But uh, under 100, 150 yards, the 170 grain does perfect for, for moose and then your 150 for, for deer, like I said. But anyway, it was such a beautiful day. I thought, um, I don't really have time to do an outline for a video. And I thought, well, I really don't need an outline for the 3030 because it's just, you know, it's, it's easy, it's simple, and everybody knows it's the best deer hunting rifle there is in America. And it probably always will be. So we're gonna zero it in and we're gonna leave it at 100 yards and we're gonna zero it there and leave it there. We're not gonna mess with it after that. Now I'll probably do a fourth video to where I move down to the 200 yard range again after we zero it at 100. Okay, and then I expect a much lesser drop. Um, but anyway, if you wanna see the specs on this gun too, watch the very first uh, video. But I will tell you it does have a 20 inch barrel on it. Okay, so what do you say we get started and do this? Let's go ahead and shoot the 170 grain first and we're gonna use that top target, all right? 
And now, the one, like I said, the 170 grain is big for larger animals, gotcha. out to 150 yards. Um, but you don't really need the 170 grain for deer. So, so let's load, uh, let's load three of the 170 grain here. And like I said, I've, there was a time back in the 60s and 70s when I was hunting with my dad and that was, Remington was his choice. Uh, there was no such thing as uh, FTX shells, so this is what we had, but we used 150 grain Remington for deer, and then we used the, uh, we used the 170 for moose, but all right, so let's go, let's go on that top target. All right. So we got 170 grain Remington in here. I'm going to put the crosshairs right at the bottom of the bullseye. Okay. So when you're hunting and target practice both, you want to make sure you squeeze that trigger. And it should be a surprise to you when it goes off. That's how delicate of a squeeze you want. You don't want to pull it, all right, because you will send the bullet to the right. All right, so here we go. Put the crosshairs right at the bottom of the bullseye. Well, this time I had a drop on that one. I'm gonna go put the crosshairs right in the center of the bullseye this time. And it looks like that, looks like the, uh, hit right next to each other. Let's fire one more of the 170 grain, and then we'll go to the FTX horde the shells there. So that's the 170 grain. Let's go to the FTX. See how well these how well these do. Let's go ahead and load five. Since we're gonna be zero in the rifle in with the horde be here. Yeah, let's shoot a couple here before we make any adjustments and see what we need to do here. I'm gonna put the put the bullseye right on top of my crosshairs now. See, much flatter. So I'm just slightly high and to the left with those Horden D160 grain. Yep, before we make any adjustments, shoot a few more. All right. So that time, the first time with the Hordendy, 
I placed the bullseye. I'm going to place the, the crosshairs right in the center of the bullseye this time. We're still on the top target. So that one hit the bullseye and it's kind of funny because uh, funny strange because the first shot that I took with the Hordendy I placed the crosshairs right at the bottom of the bullseye and this and that second time I placed the crosshairs right in the middle of the bullseye so all right so let's just fire all five just to make sure okay i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to place crosshairs right in the middle of the bullseye oh. We're on power nine. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's shoot another five of the Hordendy 160 grain and let's go down to that lower 8 inch plate and that's your bullseye for us deer all right let's go ahead and shoot five of them we got 10 left when we do a video at the 200 yard range all right if you're wondering how much these cost a box at the time this video is being made Thirty-six ninety-nine. Okay, depending on where you get them. Box of twenty. Okay, there's five. So we're going down to the lower eight-inch circle bullseye here, and that's our bullseye for deer. Anywhere within that eight inches. Of course, I'm going to aim in the center, of course. All right. There we go. Lower target. It's important to know where your rifle shoots before you go hunting. Right. So here we go. That one really surprised me. That looked like it shot left two and high. Yep. All right.
right in the center of that plate. That's a good one to end on. The success that I'm having with these at 100 yards, I'm just going to call it zeroed at 100 yards with these. Um, come back and do another video again at 200 yards, and we've got 10 left here that we can use. But anyway, um, there it is at 100 yards. And um, I still have a lot of faith in these Hordendy. Um, but I want to thank you for joining me today and appreciate it. And make sure you leave a comment down there for me. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. There's more future content coming up and share this with your friends. But thanks again for watching.